Okay, welcome to video number three. In video number three, video number one, we have showed you how to generate your views. We first started off with the top and then we projected the front and then we projected the left. And then we taught you how to dimension, that you should dimension your circles first and then your radiuses like there and there. And then you will dimension your distances between your circles or your circle positioning, which in this case it's only 200 because, and these two are aligned or else if it wasn't aligned you would have had another dimension vertically. Then once you're done there you will go look at your different heights in your front and your left view. Once you've dimensioned all these heights and widths then you're done. In this view you can dimension the widths but the widths is actually these radiuses and diameters. Okay guys, so uh, there you go and now we're going to look at how to edit your drawing after it has been generated. You're not going to draw on here to edit anything. You'll be moving over by your tabs here at the bottom, left click and there's your tab. Now I'm going to go alter this size of this, this drawing. Okay. I'm just going to show you, I'm going to go ex to extrusion one, but I know I'm looking for sketch one. Okay. Sketch one is there. I'm going to double click on the sketch and I'm going to change this dimension here to four zero. Enter. You can see here that the hole has become smaller and I'm going to change this dimension here to 100. Enter. You can see that the distance is shortened. So I'm going to say right click finish to the sketch and watch what happens you can see it has become shorter left click on connecting rod and what has happened it has become shorter as well so this is exactly what you do to be able to edit your sketch let's say I'm going to go look at altering this thickness let me go see which extrusion is this Extrusion 1, yes, that's the extrusion, and 3, okay, I'm going to alter extrusion 1, double click, you will see it highlights in green, double click, and there's it 20 millimeters, I'm going to make it 70, and say okay, right, okay, it, it shows a failure, because of some of the radiuses that did not generate properly. But this is just for illustration purposes that you can change dimensions here. Just make sure you do it within the limits that it doesn't say edit extrude feature fail. But look at what the purpose is to show you that it does change in the other drawing. Accept. And let's go to the connecting rod that was generated. And there you can see the thickness is just popping out. Thank you very, very much, guys. This is the end of the, the exercise on how to edit your drawing.